Hey, 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 what's up here, Vice your girl, LBE. Okay, y'all, so, um, I want to talk about these containers. Um, for those of y'all know, these are containers that I found, um, at the clearance event on, um, this past weekend at Dollar General for $1.50. Some of these containers are still out there. Um, like Sunday, my sister and I went, um, to a Dollar General and they still had loads of these containers. Now, I personally didn't, didn't buy any more, which I probably should have, um, but I know eventually this stuff is going to either go to like a penny or whatever. And it still might be the discounted price if I go back and check. Um, so I may swing by through there um, either tomorrow or sometime to see if they still got some more. Because I kind of need a few more. Um, but I'm going to show you all, you know, an easy and efficient way. Even if you don't have these totes and you have like some small containers and you're trying to organize. When it comes to the snacks and stuff, if you have like a large variety. So y'all know that I bought the um rice crystal trees and stuff in the boxes and i'm trying to eliminate some it, some unnecessary space so i have all these boxes just stacked up on top of each other in a box over here in the corner and just taking up space or whatever so what i did was i decided to use these containers for my snacks for easter because i have so many now if you don't have that many um snacks and cookies and stuff and you have an easy way to store it hey that's all that's good for you because having a lot you got to find the most efficient way to make this stuff work and use it i'll dump them all in like a in the individual box but i don't have any boxes to use and my poster boxes have to be used for valent i mean valentine's day easter baskets so i really don't have um time to actually um or i don't have the ability to use those for these snacks because i need to wrap them and use them for easter baskets so um, I know a lot of you all only doing like maybe 25, 50, maybe 100 Easter baskets. Some people doing like 300 or whatever. That's actually my area, the 300 to 400 Easter baskets. Um, and I have to have a, a variety amount of snacks um, because I don't want to keep going back and forth to the store. So I'm actually going to, you know, utilize. I bought like 200, if not a little bit over 200 of each thing or whatever. So that at least get me the first 200 baskets done. Um but I want to come over and talk to you about the containers like when you're trying to when you have a large variety of snacks and you're trying to store them um, like these will be easily go on my shelf and they'll you know I can easily look at the shelf life and stuff like that on them because what I did was instead of using uh, labels and stuff for these containers because I may end up using for something else after Easter's gone um, because most likely I won't have any snacks left um, and if I do normally I take the snacks down for my husband and put them in his lunch bag <laughs> But, um, yeah, excuse my voice. I'm still trying to get it back. It's been going in and out lately. So, um, I have been drinking tea and stuff like that. So, but anyway, that's not what this video is about. The video is about the storage. Um, so for the time being, what I did was I cut, these are my labels. I cut a piece of the box, especially the part that has the date on it and when they need to be used or sold by or whatever. And I just basically took some glue dots and stuck that to the inside of the container. So that when you open it up, it's right here on the inside. So whenever I'm done with this container and I don't have no more Rice Krispie Treats, I can actually just pull that off. And the, the plastic and those glue dots, honey baby, you can just pull that right on off. Y'all know how glue dots are when you buy stuff and you open it up and you just really pull the glue dot off the plastic. So it makes it easier. Um, so therefore, you don't have to continue to put labels on stuff like this. Because you may want to use this container for something else. Um, so that's basically what I did for everything, like even the little bags of cotton candy that I bought from the Dollar Tree, I put the little tag in there to show me the dates and stuff on it, which I have no choice but to use these because they're catered to Easter. And, um, these will sell. I'm not worried about that because these are going in my small baskets. Um, and the same wishes with the, the, um, goldfish and stuff like that. I'm not telling people to go out and buy this stuff. I'm just saying if you have containers on hand and, and you're trying to get the most efficient way um to store your stuff or you know condense your space i had to get rid of all them boxes they were all in my way and then like they were falling over spilling out you know when i bump them or whatever because this it's kind of tight up here right now um given the fact that i'm still trying to um get a lot of easter stuff out and deplenish a lot of the toys and stuff to go into these rest of these baskets so until i get majority of the baskets made and downstairs uh, it's going to be a little tight up here, so I had to figure out a way, and I'm so glad that I ran across these containers because it's helping me with my snacks. So now, if this container tips over, I don't have to worry about picking up the snacks every five seconds because I had to leave the boxes open. 
um, because that was the easiest way. And then I had to put them in an area where I don't have to keep unstacking them and stacking them and unstacking them and stack just to take a snack out. So this is easy because I'm just gonna basically line these up and then just open it up, grab my snacks or whatever. And then however many baskets I make is how many snacks I grab at a time. Um, I utilize the little small Easter baskets to hold like the snacks for each basket. I put like all the crackers and stuff that whatever many baskets I'm gonna make at one time, I'll put all the crackers and all that, you know, that amount in the basket. So therefore I have it up here as I'm making. But I feel as though this is more easy and efficient. Um so if this organization helps anybody, um, this is just my little organization tip. Um, I mean, you can use this at your house as well. If you bought some of these and you need this for your kids and to store their snacks and stuff in your pantry, um, I feel like this is a great way to do it. Um, and then, like I said, you don't have to use an actual label. Just use the tag or a piece of the box that it came in and then just condense. I Like, this is multiple boxes in one because I can't do the... Because I, I, I think I bought, like, Four boxes of Rice Krispie Treats and like four boxes of the goldfish, four boxes of the cookies, you know, so I could, and like uh, four boxes of the fruit snacks, I pulled all of them in one container and I just threw all the boxes away because they're just in my way. <laughs> so if you're trying to downsize and you were looked up and was able to find containers, um, this is just a storage tip. So for those of you all that just need it for your home, for your house. Um, it's an easy way to make your own labels. You don't have to, to actually go buy any labels. Just cut a piece of the box so you know what's in there or whatever. And then make sure you got the date right there so you know what how long you have to use it. Um, and that helps. And then like if you decide not to go with that snack again and you want to put something else in this container, you can do the same thing and just cut off the... And it, it can be the bag. Like I said, these came in bags. So I just cut the piece of the bag that had the... the um, expiration date on it so it, it tells me when they go out when they go bad um, and if I don't use some of it and my husband doesn't eat it they'll get donated um, and it's pretty much what I do every single time I'm getting ready to you know run out of dates or something on some food or something they have up here I donate it so that somebody else can eat it before it goes bad um, so that's just the process and procedure hope this storage tip helps don't forget to like share comment subscribe and we'll see you on the next video peace